Hi guys, it's Mandy from Mandy Lee Plays and in today's video, I am going to do a pickups. Now this is for the months of July, August, and September. So good three months since my last one. Now I didn't pick up too many games during July and August because there wasn't any good games coming out. But September was a different story. That one was jam packed with a lot of good games. And yeah, I did hold myself back a little bit. I didn't get too much stuff. All right, so something to note that I actually had a bunch of amiibos that I sold because because I was downsizing a bit because I used to collect Meebos a lot like a lot a lot where I had some that I didn't really like it's just there because I'm trying to collect them all but then I decided it's wasting room and it's just not me I just like the certain ones that I like you can see them over here so I do still have Amiibos it's just that it's not everybody so I sold a group of them to a friend and it was nice to you know downsize a bit it's always good to downsize your collection when you can or if you want to because it's not always you have to keep the stuff you can actually sell them i still believe that when it's time you should just let things go when it's not fitting your need or you don't like it anymore and there is no shame in that all right enough of my ramblings let's get to the actual games first game i picked up was pip pip i always say pimpkin like they're mm -hmm. pimps or something I don't know why. The first game I picked up is Pikmin 4. Now, if you follow me on Twitter and other social medias, then you will know I did not like this game. It's a good game overall. I'm not saying it's buggy or janky or anything like that. It's not Scarlet or Violet. It's a really well put together game. The music and visuals look stunning, but it doesn't feel like a Pikmin game because you're stranded, but then all these other people are stranded. So you don't feel that urgency of being alone in a foreign world with these little alien Pikmin around you it feels so cluttered in a way and there's a lot of features in this game which could be good but just adds to the clutteredness now i did like the dog and maneuvering with that and i did enjoy adventuring with the pikmin they're always so cute but overall this has to be my least favorite pikmin game in the series so yeah big oof on that and plus the dandori battles don't even get me started and then there's the lack of multiplayer which was kind of a bummer i think you could play it local co-op but online is no Phew! so the next game that i picked up is atelier marie remake the alchemist of salzburg now if you guys know i love this game i love the entire atelier series and koi tecmo was kind enough to send me a review copy of this game it was just an online copy so i went ahead and bought the physical edition of it i actually have it worth the buy for it so check it out so yeah i just wanted a physical version of one of my favorite series of all time and this one's from play asia and it came with this cute sticker i don't want to open it but i don't think there's anything inside to note though there is some in-game art on the flaps which is always beautiful to look at now the next game is gonna have a little bit of an explanation to it and that is the puni presents nis classics volume 3 deluxe edition now i got this edition for rhapsody the first one and it it only comes within this dual pack though I do like the style of it and the presentation. I wish more publishers did like a classics edition of their games and put them all together in like a neat package. That would be really, really nice. So I do like the structure of these classic games. You get two games and I think I paid $40 for it. So it's not that bad of a price. Now I'm really interested in Rhapsody because it's a musical game and I love musicals. So I was just like, that is something I've never seen. So I'm excited to really dive right in. And when I say musical, I don't mean like a rhythm style game. I mean like these guys just bust out in music and dance in their cutscenes and stuff. That is so, so cool. Now the next game is keeping in line with the previous one. And that is Rhapsody Marl Kingdom Chronicles. Now this one comes with Rhapsody 2 and Rhapsody 3. Now I got wind of these series by another YouTuber called Miss Mandia. So thank you for letting me know about this game. She did an unboxing of the collector's edition, but I only have the standard. Anyways, I'm really interested in the Rhapsody trilogy. Like I said, it's a musical style game, something I never really experienced and I'm really excited to dive in. But here's what the inside looks like it comes with a little art book and a poster i'll probably do some b-roll or something so you guys could see it better than my shaky hands but um yeah beautiful art can't wait to dive right into this one the next game i got was fey farm now i was debating on whether i should buy this because on the switch it's 60 dollars, but on steam and other platforms it's like 40 i believe so i was just like why does the switch one 
60. But then I was like, I want a physical copy and plus I just like playing farm sims on my Switch. That's just how it is. I can't play Stardew Valley or Story of Seasons on a PC. It just feels really weird. Plus I had a coupon so I paid around $30 for it, which is not bad. I would say if you want it for the Switch, wait a bit until getting it just because of the price. Um, I don't think it's worth like a full $60. Now I was interested in this game because it reminds me a lot of My Sims and I love that game so much. A lot of people hate it for some reason, but I just had so much fun with it. Maybe because I was young and didn't have like good quality or something, or maybe because I was only limited to a certain amount of games. So if I didn't like it, I had to suck it up and play it anyways. And this game gives me that My Sims feel. The way the characters cheer for everything and the animations with the NPCs, it reminds me a lot of My Sims and I'm just loving it so far. It's so addicting. I know it has this online multiplayer aspect to it, but I like to play by myself and stuff. And it's also cross-platform, which is really, really nice and convenient. So if you have it on the PC, you could play with someone who has it on the Switch. But nonetheless, I've been enjoying this game on my own as well. Now the next Switch game that I got is Nayuta Boundless Trails Deluxe Edition. There's a lot of Trails game coming out and I'm just like, I still need to play the first one. Can you slow down a bit? Now I have heard that this one isn't really part of the main series. Correct me if I'm wrong, which I probably am wrong. And it's kind of this whole standalone thing, which is great because I can just play it at any time. Besides the overwhelming games that I have to play, I can't wait to crack into this one. Uh, so there is some goodies inside, so I'm gonna open this. So the first thing I got is a digital soundtrack and a miniature art book. Very, very cute. And on the inside is a reversible cover, which is really, really nice. So we're on to the last Switch game, and it's actually a collector's edition. Yay! And that is Rune Factory 3 Special. Now, I've been wanting this game for a while because I loved Rune Factory 4 Special, but Rune Factory 5 was very bad. So I was thinking, like, maybe the older games are better than the newer ones. So I was hoping that Rune Factory 3 was going to be special, and it is. It's a very fun game. I've been playing it a lot on my Switch, on my downtimes. It's really relaxing and it has a good blend of RPG mechanics and farming mechanics. Though I wish they went a little above and beyond with the special edition and added a female protag because you could only play as a male protag. Now I got the collector's edition. I'm gonna put b-roll on this so you should have been seeing it at this point. It's a very very nice collector's edition. Now the next game is a uh, another gag gift. And that is Peppa Pig uh, World Adventures. This is the sequel to Peppa Pig. If this video gets a thousand likes, I will play Peppa Pig. Now, the next thing I received is something really special. This was pre-ordered from last year, so it took some time to get here. And that is the Pop-Up Parade figure of Adia Lee from Bravely Default. I am so, so happy. Now, I love Adia Lee, obviously. Her murderer is very iconic. Now, I love that the Pop-Up Parade series is kind of like a middleman between Nendroids and a full-on figurine where it's affordable, but they're really hard to get sometimes and you have to pre-order them like years in advance. Now, I'm going to unbox her and show you guys what she looks like. Now the last thing I got is something really special. If you follow me on Twitter, then you'll probably guess what it is, but I got 
the boy the snorlax squishmallow oh my god he's so cute i've been waiting for this thing to come back on sale for so long like it was on my amazon wait list for like ever and i'm just so excited he's so soft I'm probably brushing my mic on this, but he is really, really soft and cuddly. Oh my god, he's so cute. And he looks like an egg. It is so adorable. Now, I do love Snorlax, if you guys haven't noticed. it's There's a picture over here. I have a little Pokemon Terrarium with Snorlax and another plushie. And plus, if you become a member of my channel, you get a little Snorlax by your name. So it's safe to say I really love Snorlax. Now, I don't collect Squishmallows. Well, I don't really collect plushies either. I dialed them back because I only have so much room in my room. But when I heard they were making a Snorlax one, I was just like, yeah, I'm gonna get this one. Oh, he's so cute. He's so cute. All right, now on to the digital games that I got. First, I got Sea of Stars, which is a really nice game. It's too bad I haven't found the time to play it, but I'm hoping to get into it again. Now I'm playing this on my Xbox through Xbox Game Pass, which is really convenient because maybe down the line, I would love to get a physical copy. The next game I'm playing on my Xbox as well is Starfield. Now, this one is a black hole of a time sink. I don't know where I'm gonna get the time for this, but I'm really excited to delve into this world. The next one I got is Beating Kaidos 1 and 2 HD. Now I am playing this game currently and I'm really enjoying it. The next thing I got is the Pokemon DLC. I actually beat the Teal Mask and surprisingly, beside the performance issues, it's a really good DLC. It makes me sad to think that if this game was just normal and functioned right, a lot of people would be singing the praises about the changes they made. But hey, we don't live in that timeline. And that is it for my digital purchases. So that is it for my pickups. I hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments down below, what did you pick up for the last three months? If you like this video, then hit that like button, would appreciate it. And if you like my channel, wanna see more content, then smack that subscribe button for me. You can follow my socials in the description down below. I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of the day. And as always, play a good game. Peace, peace.